This is the Camray AK-1 Mini PC. It comes with mounting hardware if you want to mount it. It comes with the power cord as well. So here, let's have a look at some of the ports on this. So on one side, you've got the power button. You've got three USB ports. Then on the other side, you've got another USB to HDMI and Ethernet. You've got the power cord as well. It comes apart. So if you want to install an external hard drive, you can. Or if you want it to be thinner, you can just leave it without the external hard drive. I decided to go ahead and put an external hard drive in to get that extra storage capacity for media. It was really easy to... To install you just need a couple screws so here is the boot screen and then it's windows 11 pro so the setup is what you would expect you just type in your credentials your passwords etc connect to a network and then it sets everything up for you it does take quite a few minutes to get things set up but once it's set up you can see it does have 12 gigs of ram it shows the processor everything is looking good so far so i wrote a provisioning script so i can install software and nice quick and easy so I'm running that in PowerShell as I check for Windows update get BitLocker going you know all the things you would set up with a new computer so let's test out the graphics a little bit so I'm trying out never putt the golf game that works fine everything's smooth here is the Talos principle you can see things are a bit more choppy here so Overall, it's okay, but obviously this is not a gaming PC. This is a low-powered PC, but yeah, it works. This is real miss, and uh, again, graphics not super fancy or amazing, but it totally works. I don't recommend this PC for gaming, but you can if you want to. Here is a Super Tux car again. Graphics pretty smooth on this game. I'm really kind of impressed with how inexpensive and low powered this game is. So let's have a look here. Graphics obviously are not working. This is before I did all the driver updates. So you do want to be aware out of the box, you might have some graphic issues. Once you run all the Windows updates, everything's going to work just fine for you. So I did get this mini pc for free to do this review i've done a lot of reviews for mini pcs this one's actually really quite impressive it is low powered it's nothing fancy but it works really well it's a good all-around mini pc you can use it for basically whatever you want to use it for